Hey everyone, uh, in my last video, I showed you how to set up Google Tasks with the Eisenhower Matrix, but today we're gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna walk you through a real life example of how you can exactly use this system to stay organized, beat procrastination, and get more done without feeling overwhelmed. Quick refresher, the Eisenhower Matrix helps to prioritize tasks based on urgency, and importance. And today, this is what I'm gonna label it as, okay? So you can see what this looks like. Divide this paper up into quarters. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do urgent. So there's a couple of labels here that you need to know. Urgent. Okay, that's your urgent. And then not urgent. Whoops. And then we have important and not important. So important not important. So that's not important, that's gonna be important. So urgent and important is do now. Things that you wanna get done now. This is gonna be not urgent, but important. We're gonna decide on later. Okay, or we're gonna schedule them later. And then of course, urgent and not important, tasks that we can delegate to someone else, yeah? And then finally, the things that are neither important nor um, urgent, they're just distractions and a waste of time. So we're gonna go ahead and label that delete. So this is the same as um, part one. These are the same labels that I use in part one. Let's go ahead and start adding some real life examples to this. Now let's organize a real student's to-do list. Imagine it's a Monday morning and there's everything on your plate. It's looking super messy and you've got all of these assignments that you need to get done. Okay, let's have a look at these. My God, it's getting messy, isn't it? Right, that's a real mess. Uh, reply to group project messages, scroll social media for an hour, study for math test next week, apply for a summer internship, help a friend with their assignment, submit their history essay due tonight, binge watch Netflix. So let's organize these one by one, let's pick them off. Okay, now I know that submit a history essay, submit a history essay is gonna be a do now task. I, want, I need to get that done today because it's due tonight. So that's one task that needs to be done. Deadlines that are due today need to be done ASAP. Okay, here's another one. Reply to group project messages. That needs to be done now as well because teamwork matters and delays could slow down any progress on that job. So that needs to be done as well today. These are your top priorities. Start with these first before anything else. Decide later. Study for a math exam next week. It's important, but I can decide later because I have time to plan my study sessions. And of course, applying for a summer internship, massive opportunity here, but it's not due today. So I can schedule time for this later on, okay? So that's a do later task. Buy groceries for the week. This is important, it's essential, but I can plan this later. So that's gonna go into that file. These are valuable tasks, but they don't need to be rushed. We can block out time for them in our calendar later on. Okay, now down to delegate tasks. These are the tasks that are urgent, but they're not important. So helping a friend with their assignment, if they really need help, then great, you should help them. But if they can do it by themselves, don't let them take up your study time. So that's gonna be in delegate. Get your friend to do that one. If you're swamped, it's okay to say no. Suggest that they check the resources or get someone else to do it or help out. And finally, the delete section. Now, scrolling for social media for an hour, it's a huge time waste, actually. You wanna get rid of that. Binge watching Netflix. I mean, relaxation is important, but don't let it cut into your work time. Now let's turn this into a daily plan and I'm gonna tackle my do now tasks first. So if you haven't checked out the first part, go ahead, check out the first part. I'll link it up in the card somewhere. Going to uh, my calendar. Okay, make sure you signed in, you go to your calendar and then you go to the switcher and go to your tasks. Now I already have all of my lists created here. So I've got do now, uh, decide later, delegate and delete. I can go to create and then this title is gonna be history essay, which is due today. This goes into do now. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now you shouldn't be at this point where you've decided that this is a do now task on the day that is due. You should have scheduled this out on your calendar and you should have time blocked this already, okay? So we're just catching up with this stuff. Right, so that's done. The do now tasks are done. You can clean those up. Decide later, buy groceries for the week. Let's go ahead and create this. We're gonna to have to schedule some time for this later on. Decide later. Buy groceries, that's done. 
apply for summer internship. Yeah, of course, these tasks, it's not as simple as just saying this. So decide this later. Let's go ahead and put this down on Tuesday. We're gonna decide later. So as this is on your calendar, what ends up happening is you go and review these and then you'll schedule time for them later on, okay? So that internship and then study for your math exam next week. Let's go ahead and add that math test. Okay, let's just schedule this for Monday. Okay, into decide data. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to check my calendar, my time blocking on, let me go ahead and show you how that's done. So if I go now to my calendar and make sure that my tasks are on, then what I'll do is if I scroll to my next week, I can see here math test is coming up. So as long as my tasks are clicked on, in fact, I can even just go like this and say display this one only. So I can see all of my tasks on my calendar as I scrub through the week. And then what you can do is you can change this week view and you put it to schedule and then just click on today. You can see all of the tasks that are coming up that are due, yeah? Math test is coming up. So I need to schedule time for that later on. Okay, so now that I've done my decide pile, I've done my do now and my decide later, let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna switch again back to my tasks. I'm gonna go ahead and say, help friend assignment. This is gonna be a delegate task, yeah? So I'm gonna to have to find someone else who can help out or at least give a resource to this person. Maybe I'll share a previous year's report or something that might help them as a resource. Go ahead and delegate that. So I've stuck that into delegation. And now I've got Netflix and scrolling. Now I've already, I think I've already got a catch up with Netflix. I've already got a catch up with Netflix. If I get through all of these tasks, then maybe I'm gonna have time to sit and watch an episode of house or something or whatever. And then scroll on social media. You know what, I'm gonna completely ignore that one for now. That's gonna be a delete task. I'm not gonna put that on my calendar. If I find time, maybe I'll sit and scroll social media. Now, that's that done. Let's talk about this now. You see how easy that was? Instead of a stressful mess of a to-do list, you now have a plan to stay proactive and stress-free, hopefully. Try the system out for yourself and you'll thank me later. Yo, if this helped, hit that like button. Make sure that you let me know in the comments below how you're gonna use it. What's your biggest struggle with staying productive as a student or as a teacher or as a professional? As always, listen, share this with someone you think is gonna help and I'll catch you in the next one.